What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. So this one is going to be my impressions of the Waylorant Maj. It's the Iron Banner Sniper Rifle if you didn't know and I'm absolutely loving it so far. So let's just get right into it. Now first thing you want to know is that it's a low impact sniper which you probably already do know. It does about 100 to the body, 250 to the head in normal crucible. Uh, in Iron Banner it's usually going to do a bit less because people are in those high 3, 315, 320 light levels at the moment. So unless you have 320 gear and a 320 uh, Waylor and Smudge, it's going to be a 3 shot body kills at times. Personally I have not experienced that too many times luckily, but my Waylorance is also infused up to 310 already. Uh, now one thing that people talk about a lot about this gun is the aim assist value. It's really high, I think it's like 79, which is um, about as high as my Thousand Yards there, which is Hidden Hand and Short Gaze. Um, and a lot of people like to make a big deal about it, like you can't miss a freaking head or whatever. Um, definitely not true, obviously aim assist helps, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and tell you it doesn't, but you still have to be aimed on the head for it to be a headshot, aim assist just slows down the reticle, but that's neither here or there. Um, but it does make the sniper feel a lot better, I find an issue with most low impact snipers that I've tried out, because I want a low impact sniper for 6v6, uh, most of them have low aim assist, so when you go into 6v6 and there's a lot of targets and you gotta be really quick and snappy with your shots, you end up missing a lot or trying to double body a lot, and I don't like trying to double body, I like to go for the headshots, and uh, the way it learns is really good for that, it feels like a high impact sniper in that sense that it's a little more sticky to the head, but you do also have the luxury of being able to follow up quickly if you hit a body shot or miss entirely. So that's really nice for 6v6, that's what I really like about it. It also has a 5 magazine size, which I do like because it is a low impact, so sometimes you are going to be double bodying and you're going to be using more ammo in general, so having that extra magazine size is really nice. For me. Now, I did find myself asking, you know, is this gun really going to be worth grinding for? Is it going to be worth trying to get a really good roll on this gun and going through the Iron Banner torture that is Clash? Um, and I was honestly about to say, you know what, I'm just going to get my characters to 5 and that's going to be, you know, 5 the vendor version, whatever. Uh, but then I got a drop version, not a god roll, but short gaze, triple tap, small bore, and mulligan, I believe. Now, you know, with small bore is not small bore, did I say small bore? I meant ejection mode. Injection mode is a pretty solid perk, it gives you a bit of extra stability, a bit of faster handling, and slightly faster ADS speed. Now, I don't know if it stacks with quick draw, it doesn't feel like it stacks with quick draw, at least not in terms of ADS. But, bottom line is, even though it's slower to ADS than most of my other snipers that I use, it did feel really, really good. I feel a lot more comfortable using it in 6v6 than I do with my other snipers because I have the luxury of being able to follow up if I miss and. Also, if there's just multiple targets, say Pantheon, you have those sniper lanes, and if you're peaking 1v2, you're pretty much always going to lose with a high impact, just because it doesn't shoot fast enough. You can do that with a Railor and Sponge. The recoil is also very manageable, it doesn't kick too much, which is nice, and it feels sticky enough, you know. I already said this, didn't I? Whatever, we're just going to go on with it. Um, but the point is, it's a really nice sniper for 6v6, I would not take it into Iron um, Trials of Osiris, this is going well guys, uh, I'm a bit rusty on the commentary, my apologies. Um, but I am gonna grind for it, I wanna get another one with a god roll, preferably, probably ambush to be honest. Army of one, snapshot and quick draw, you can get both of those perks, so you get ambush for the extra stability and those two perks for handling. And then I'd probably go for Mulligan and the last one actually, just an ammo perk or something. I do not like Hidden Hand that much. This gun already has a ton of aim assist, you don't need Hidden Hand. It's an overrated perk in the first place in my opinion. But with a gun with this much aim assist, it's just obsolete. Like, it's not gonna do anything for you, trust me. Uh, so you wanna try and get something else. Firefly is a decent option too, but I find that that's a better perk on a high impact sniper. But if you wanna try and go for that, by all means do. Anyway, that's just my first impressions. I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. It's just some gameplay from some of the first matches I played. The one you saw on Cathedral of Dust, that was my very first match using the sniper. I ended up getting two triples, which is really nice. And uh, after playing for a couple of hours with it, I've hit more Iron Banner clips with this thing than I have with any other sniper previously, I think. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm really loving this gun. By all means, do pick it up. The vendor version is pretty solid too, if you haven't already checked. It does have Army of One, it does have Firefly, Injection Mold, and Ambush. So it's a solid roll. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Oh, and I almost forgot. 
Um, if you guys do want to catch me on Twitch or Twitter, links are in the description. I'll be streaming on weekends a lot, so definitely go over to my Twitch profile and I announce all the streams on Twitter as well. So, shameless self-promotion, now I'm actually out.